Hi friends, I hope you had a wonderful Easter weekend and that you're having a great week so far. This morning I looked at the forecast for us in Campbell River and it's supposed to go up to 21 degrees today, which is pretty exciting. I have lots of family members that live in Ontario. My dad sent me a picture this morning and it is snowing there today. In this beautiful weather, I've been spending lots of time in my garden and one of my favorite things to do while I'm gardening is to investigate and look at all of the different insects and little critters that live in the dirt. So today we're going to do another directed drawing of one of my favorite insects, a ladybug. So if you need to go and pause the video while you grab your supplies, you will need a piece of paper, something to write with like a pencil, and then something to color your picture with at the end. Of course, brothers and sisters, you can join in again today too. All right, we are going to get started. Remember, I'm going to use a marker for my drawing so that it shows up easy for you on the screen, but you may want to use a pencil so that if you need to erase anything, you're able to do that. The first step in this drawing, I'm going to do the ladybug's eyeballs. Um, so we'll do a nice round circle about the size of a toonie. That's the coin that is worth two dollars. So I'm going to do my first nice round circle. And then for the second one, it's going to be joined on to the side of this one. We won't quite see the entire circle. So we'll start at the edge of our first circle. Go around and back, kind of like a letter C. So there are the two eyeballs. Next, we're going to fill in the pupils of the eyes. That's the part in the center. So we'll do another round circle, a tinier one this time, inside both of the eyeballs. And then I'm going to fill those ones in. I'm going to color them black. You could do that now, or if you want to wait until you are coloring, you can do that also. Next, we're going to finish making your ladybug's face. So I'm going to start at the side of the eyeball on the left, and I'm just going to do a semicircle here. So we're going to reach down, back up around and join it to the side of the eye on the right. Now for my nose, I'm going to do an oval shape. You can decide what shape you would like your ladybug's nose to be. And then I'm going to add a smile. It's a happy ladybug. All right, now for the ladybug's shell, we're going to start halfway up at the side of its face and it'll be like an upside down letter U. So we'll reach up to about where the tops of the eyes are. Around, we'll want it to be nice and big so that we have lots of space to add our spots. Once you get down to about where the bottom of the face is, then you'll do a nice straight line all the way across to join the shell to the rest of the body. Now we will add some legs. Now usually insects have eight legs, but we're just seeing one side of the ladybug, so we will only do four. So I'm going to go down and then a little foot straight line down and a little foot straight line down another little foot these kind of look like lowercase letter d's or if you remember from music class with mrs abbott once we color them in they will look like quarter notes now on the ladybug shell we're going to add the polka dots so add, add as many round circles as you would like I'm going to make mine all kind of the same size. You can decide if you would like yours to be all the same or a little bit different. I'm going to do a few that are on the edge, so they'll just be a semicircle like that. Next, he needs some antennas. So I'm going to start at the top of the eyeballs, do a straight line up, and then a little swirly curl. You can make yours look like mine if you like, or you can do a different kind. Now I'm going to add some grass for the ladybug to stand on. 
So I'm going to do little spikes like this. They actually kind of look like fire the way I'm drawing it. So like those shark teeth we did on the eggshell in the last video, kind of similar, but these ones are sort of curling back and forth a little bit more. So I'll add these all the way across the bottom of my picture. There we go. Here is my finished picture after I've colored it. You can see on mine that I chose to use realistic colors, but you could get creative and make it a different kind of insect if you like. So I've made my ladybug's back red and the spots black. I also colored the feet in black. Now I wanted the face to be black as well, but I wanted to make sure that the sharpie lines of the nose and the smile still showed up. So I used the same black crayon, but I just colored much lighter than I did for the spots and the feet. You can see that, of course, I made the grass green. Wow, I love looking at my pictures, seeing how many different things I can find in them. Let's count how many spots my ladybug has on the shell. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could count those by two as well if we wanted. Two, four, six. I wonder if your ladybug will have more or less spots than mine. I can't wait to see your pictures when you send them to me. I hope you had fun making that picture with me today and that you enjoy the rest of your week. Remember to cooperate with your brothers and sisters at home and to listen to your grown-ups. I'll see you again next week. Bye!